Have you ever wondered what the most dangerous parts of Singapore are? It's an intriguing question that begs for an answer, isn't it? While Singapore is generally safe, there are still certain areas that pose a potential risk. Knowing about these places is crucial for your personal safety and security, especially if you're planning to explore the city-state's less traveled paths. So, let's delve into the shadows of this urban jungle, shall we? Stay with us as we unveil the most dangerous parts of Singapore. Before we dive into the dangerous parts, it's important to understand Singapore. Nestled at the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula, this island city-state is a global hub for education, entertainment, finance, healthcare, human capital, innovation, logistics, manufacturing, technology, tourism, trade, and transport. With a population of around 5.5 million people, it's a melting pot of cultures, languages, and religions. It's renowned for its cleanliness, orderliness, and strict laws, which have earned it a reputation as one of the safest countries in the world. Yes, you heard it right, it's considered a haven for tourists and expats alike, thanks to its low crime rate. But like any other place on Earth, it's not devoid of risks. Despite its reputation, there are areas in Singapore that pose risks. So let's delve a little deeper and uncover the less talked about side of this seemingly perfect paradise. Starting our countdown, the fifth most dangerous part of Singapore is Gailang. Gailang, a district that's as notorious as it is colorful, is a place that warrants caution. It's a paradox of sorts teetering between the innocuous and the illicit. By day, it's a foodie's paradise, renowned for its vibrant hawker stalls and authentic local cuisine. By night, however, Gailang transforms into a different beast entirely. The district is infamous for its high crime rates, particularly when the sun sets. With the cloak of darkness, Geelong becomes a hotbed for illegal activities. This is not to say that every corner of Geelong is dangerous, but the district does have a reputation that can't be ignored. Petty theft, pickpocketing, and burglaries are common crimes in the area. Travelers and locals alike are advised to keep a watchful eye on their belongings. The prevalence of these crimes is so high that Geelong has been dubbed the pickpocket capital of Singapore, but it's not just theft that's a concern. The district is also notorious for its underground gambling dens, where illegal betting occurs on a grand scale. These dens are often hidden in plain sight, masquerading as ordinary shop fronts or residential buildings. Beyond gambling, Geelong is also known for its red light activities, despite the government's best efforts to clean up the area. This site of Geelong is a magnet for unsavory characters, leading to a higher incidence of violent crimes compared to other parts of Singapore. Yet, despite its reputation, Geelong is not a no-go zone. It's a district with a rich history and culture, a place that's as intriguing as it is daunting. But it's crucial to remember that it's a place where one must tread carefully, especially after dark. So if you find yourself in Geelong, be on guard, keep your belongings close, avoid less crowded areas, and steer clear of the district's darker side. It's better to be safe than sorry after all. Geelong, a place where caution must be exercised, Moving on, the fourth most dangerous part of Singapore is Little India. Bursting with life and color, Little India is a sensory feast that presents a stark contrast to the city's modern metropolis image. Beneath its vibrant exterior, however, lurks a darker side. Little India has had its fair share of unfortunate incidents that have contributed to its reputation. The most notable of these was the riot that occurred in December 2013, an event that shocked the nation. A fatal accident involving a bus and a pedestrian sparked an angry mob, leading to a night of chaos and destruction. It was Singapore's worst outbreak of violence in four decades, and it left an indelible mark on the area. But it's not just the occasional outbreak of violence that makes Little India a potential danger zone. The area is known for its crowd control issues, especially during weekends and public holidays. The sheer volume of people can make navigating the narrow streets and alleys challenging and unfortunately, this can sometimes lead to accidents or altercations. While the local authorities have taken steps to address these issues, such as implementing alcohol bans and increasing police presence, the risks remain. Visitors, particularly those unfamiliar with the area, may find themselves at the mercy of pickpockets or opportunistic individuals looking to take advantage of the bustling crowds and tight spaces. Despite these concerns, it's important to note that Little India is still a significant cultural hub worth visiting. Its rich history, vibrant markets, and delicious food make it a favorite among locals and tourists alike. However, like any other destination, it's crucial to stay alert and aware of your surroundings to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. So there you have it, 
Little India, bustling and vibrant but not without its dangers. Next on our list, the notorious red light districts. Nestled among high rises and hawker centers, these districts are a stark contrast to the pristine image of Singapore. They are a hodgepodge of neon lights, loud music, and an underbelly of activities that often skirt the edge of legality. Now, the red light districts are not inherently dangerous. They are, after all, just another facet of the city's diverse urban landscape. However, the potential for danger does lurk in the shadows. Predatory behavior is not uncommon as opportunists seek to exploit the unwary or inebriated. Furthermore, these districts are rife with illegal activities. From illicit trade to unlicensed businesses, the law is often stretched thin here, making it a risky place for visitors. Safety is not always guaranteed, especially for those unfamiliar with the local customs and rules. It's also worth noting that these areas can be a sensory overload for the unprepared. The flashing lights, the cacophony of sounds, and the sheer volume of people can be disorienting. This in turn can make one an easy target for those with less than noble intentions. Visiting the red light districts can be an eye-opening experience, offering a glimpse into a side of Singapore that's seldom seen, but it's crucial to remain vigilant and aware of the potential dangers. After all, these districts are not just about the glitz and glamour, they also have a darker side that's often hidden from plain sight. The red light district's a hotbed for potential danger. Coming in at number two, Orchard Towers. A monolith of Singapore's nightlife, this place is shrouded in controversy and intrigue. Now, the name Orchard Towers might evoke images of a serene orchard or a luxurious tower, but the reality is far from it. Known colloquially as the Four Floors of Whores, Orchard Towers is not for the faint-hearted. As the sun sets, the place transforms into a bustling hive of seedy bars and clubs, making it a haven for unsavory characters. This area is no stranger to crime, with reports of fights, scams, and even cases of murder tainting its reputation. Visitors, especially those unfamiliar with the area, could find themselves in unfavorable situations. From overpriced drinks to confrontational behavior, the risks are not to be taken lightly. While the nightlife may be lively and the atmosphere electric, Orchard Towers can quickly turn into a minefield for those unprepared. In fact, law enforcement has been ramping up efforts to clean up the area, but the reputation still lingers. It's a place where the line between fun and danger often blurs, and where one wrong move could lead to trouble. But remember, as with any place, being alert and aware of your surroundings is key. In Orchard Towers, this is especially true. It's a place where the night can offer thrills and chills in equal measure where prudence should be your closest friend. Orchard Towers, a place that demands vigilance. And finally, the most dangerous part of Singapore, the suburban ghettos. In contrast to the clean manicured image that Singapore typically presents to the world, the suburban ghettos paint a starkly different picture. This area, usually tucked away from the bustling city center, is known for its high crime rates and general instability, making it a hotspot for danger. One of the main issues that plague these neighborhoods is drug-related crimes. The problem is so rampant that it has become almost synonymous with the term suburban ghettos. The drug trade operates in a shadowy underworld, often leading to violent confrontations between rival gangs. This poses a significant risk to residents and visitors alike as one can unwittingly find themselves in the crossfire of a drug war. Additionally, the suburban ghettos are notoriously difficult to navigate for outsiders. The labyrinthine layout of the streets and alleys, coupled with the lack of clear signage, can easily disorient visitors. This, combined with the high crime rate, makes it exceptionally risky for the unacquainted. Moreover, the local law enforcement has a tough time patrolling these areas due to their complex structure and the residents' general distrust towards them. This further exacerbates the issue, as the lack of effective policing allows crime to thrive unchecked. So, while Singapore may seem like a safe haven on the surface, it's always wise to be aware of the darker aspects lurking in its corners. The suburban ghettos, the peak of danger in Singapore. To wrap things up, we've explored the dangerous parts of Singapore. We started with Geelong, known for its clandestine activities and shady dealings. Moving on to Little India, a vibrant neighborhood that sometimes sees unruly behavior. Next, we delved into the red light districts, where caution is advised due to the potential for petty crime. We then ventured to Orchard Towers, an area that can be alarmingly unsafe after dark due to its notorious reputation. 
Finally, we touched on the suburban ghettos, areas off the beaten path where unsuspecting travelers might find themselves in uncomfortable situations. Each of these areas, while part of the diverse fabric of Singapore, present their unique challenges and potential dangers. The aim here isn't to scare you away from these areas entirely, but to emphasize the importance of staying aware and prioritizing your safety. Remember, safety first wherever you travel.